Hi everybody! Today we're going to read The Deep Blue Sea by Bertha Morris Parker and Kathleen N. Daly, illustrated by Tibor Gergely. Oceans cover more than half of our earth. All the oceans together are sometimes called the sea. There is more sea than land on this earth of ours. The sea is big and deep and full of exciting things to know about. The surface of the sea looks flat, but underneath the sea there is a strange, dim world. There are valleys and hills, mountains and canyons, just as there are on the earth above. There are valleys deeper than any we can imagine. Some of the mountains are higher than any on land. Some of them rise up above the waves and appear as islands in the ocean. The sea looks empty, but it is full of living things. Almost everywhere there are fish. Some fish swim near the surface of the sea. Flying fish can leap right out of the water and glide through the air for a little way. There are hundreds of kinds of little fish, spotted and striped and bright colored. They dart in and out among the rocks and seaweeds in the gardens of the sea. Some fish stay near the floor of the sea. The flat flounder is one and its speckles help it to hide. Look, it's flounder's family. Some fish make long journeys. Sometimes they travel together in great crowds called schools. At egg laying time, a few travel back to the waters where they were born. No one knows how they find their way. Even when there are no fish, the sea is not empty. Floating about in the sea are millions of tiny plants and animals. They're so tiny that human eyes cannot see them easily. All of them together are called plankton. Many sea creatures feed upon plankton. It is a kind of sea soup for them. Fish are always moving about. There are many dangers for them. There are bigger hungry fish. Some of the fiercest fish are the sharks and barracudas. Fishermen set out in fishing boats and go far out to sea. Some places of the sea are especially good for catching fish. The fishermen go there and put down great nets for the fish to swim into. They catch whole boatloads of fish for people to eat. Seabirds eat fish. Noisy gulls, <laughs> like scuttle, and graceful terns and cormorants all swoop and glide over the waves, watching for fish with sharp eyes. When a cormorant sees a fish, it closes its wings and dives deep down into the water to catch it. Many birds fly far out to sea. They may ride for hours at a time on the strong sea winds. When they're tired, they may rest on the waves or on a passing ship. The seas are great highways, and many ships travel back and forth across them. The biggest animal in all the world lives in the sea. It is the whale. A whale is not a fish, and it cannot stay underwater all the time. It must come up to the surface to get air. When a whale spouts, it is blowing out stale air from its lungs. <laughs> Often there's a baby whale swimming beside its mother and learning the ways of the sea. Sometimes a whale floats lazily in the sun. A seabird may rest on its head and small fish swim in its shadow. Dolphins and porpoises are playful relatives of the whales. There are plants in the sea large brown kelps, feathery sea moths, green rockweed, all of these are seaweeds. Some seaweeds cling to rocks, some float. One part of the Atlantic Ocean is covered in floating seaweed. 
It is called the Sargasso Sea. Squids, big and small, shoot through the waters of the sea. The eight-armed octopus is a relative of the squids. Sometimes it walks along the sea floor on its tentacles. When a squid or an octopus is attacked or frightened, it can squirt out an inky cloud of liquid to hide itself. Far down beneath the surface of the sea, deep, deep down, the sea is dark. But even here, some fishes live. Strange creatures they are. Some of them have long and terrible teeth, and some have glowing lights on their bodies. Fierce, hungry fishes there are, they are, and some can swallow fish much bigger than themselves. The water of the sea is salty. It is the rivers that bring salt to the sea. Day by day, year by year, rivers gather up salt from the rocks on land and carry it to the sea. People sometimes collect salt from the sea. Divers dive deep down into the sea to collect its treasures. They look for oysters that have pearls inside their shells, or they dive down to a sunken ship. Sometimes divers help to bring back some of the sea's cargo. And sometimes I get to keep it. Sometimes, look at my dingle hopper. The water of the sea is always moving even when it looks still. It moves in broad streams of water called currents. Sea currents carry water from one part of the sea to another. The water in a current may be warmer or colder than the sea around it. It may be a different color and look like a river in the sea. The wind blowing on the sea makes the water pile up into waves. Sometimes a strong wind will blow for many days and form huge waves. They go rolling over the ocean, big and angry and frightening. But when the winds are gentle, the sea is friendly. There are little waves to splash in and playful breezes for sailboats. The sea is big and deep and full of things to know about. The sea seems to be saying, come travel on my waters, come explore me, come learn my secrets.